speaking of superstars from the Kangaroos and, of course, formerly the Blues, Jared Wade. Welcome, Wadey. Hey, mate. How are you going? Why aren't you playing football, please? It's, uh, is it the Soleus? Is it the old... In fact, both of you. Speaking of old men, you both had the calf injuries. Where's yours at? Yeah, um, a couple of weeks away, hopefully. But, yeah, Soleus gas drop, sort of that really awkward joint. Um, so, yeah, running at the moment, feeling pretty good, but um, hopefully might get back for the Brisbane game. What's, uh, what's your role? Hopefully you don't get back for the Brisbane game. Yeah. But uh, what's your role down there with the younger guys? Obviously, we've got a really young list at the moment. What are you doing down there as a forward while you're injured? Uh, just, well, I haven't been out on the track too much because I've just been running. So just trying to talk to the boys in meetings and just sort of give my point of view on what's going on and just trying to sort of get through the boys that we need to find another option through other than Brownie. Yep. So um, just trying to take the load off him a bit. But um, you yeah, take just through, to... you take him through vision and different like leading patterns and where they should go and where I was, they should go. I was doing that with Woody, but um, Mason. But yes, yeah, so he's gone down too. So uh, yeah, not as much, but um, just trying to help out as best I can. Speaking of forward structure, uh, Jack Zeeble spent a lot of time forward this year and especially in the first quarter today, he's absolutely sensational. His attack on the footy is, uh, well, second to none. Yeah, and you know exactly what you're going to get with Jack with his tack on the ball, but really uh, out of the string to his bow with the uh, going down forward this year, and I think it's really helped the team, and as you can see, he is still complaining in the, in the midfield, but, um, yeah, he tacks the ball and, and really strong vice grip when he uh, gets the opportunity, and nice uh, nice couple of bananas. He's one bloke who you don't want to go one-on-one -on -one with in the, in the Ford 50. That's why it's good having Brown down there, because you've got another teammate if you if you defend it against him. But having um, Brown, Zeeble, when you're back, turns into a really dangerous forward line. Brad Scott talking about building a, a, a midfield too, so Jai Simkin going in and Jed Anderson going in. It's pretty selfless of Jack to uh, be happy to go forward and let those blokes develop as players. Mad Jack Dorr, Alir Alir, Brian Taylor's had a fascination with this, and why wouldn't he? The... the Electric athleticism of these two is just fantastic. Yeah, and one stage in that second quarter, Lear was just running off, and oh, it was it was a, it's pretty special to watch and see the big boys going at it. Uh, it's been good, and Madge is going pretty well. He kicked a couple of goals, so um, yeah, very nice for Madge going well. That's one thing I've noticed. Him playing at centre half back, I reckon he's learned a fair bit of where to lead because with his leading the ball, he hasn't um, led too early. His timing's been really really good. Yeah, he's coming up the ball really well and. Uh, shown, uh, shown in this first half. And this is a strength of uh, Elia Ali. You can put him at centre half back and he can run. I said, Matt Jack, they're not happy about that one, but he creates from the half back, but then you chuck him in the ruck and he can do exactly the same. He's just another midfielder. Yep. Kane Turner exiting early in the game. This is on the back of Ben Jacobs coming out with concussion before the game, and you can just see there that head going down onto the knee of Dane Rampey. And it didn't look good. The doctors had a good look at the vision. Whitey, and quite correctly said, no more for you. Yeah, obviously uh, a bit stumbly there, so that's a, a pretty telling, telling uh, sign. But yeah, obviously uh, no, no uh, risk going to be taken with Kane, and hopefully he'll be off next week. Hey, I love how the Swans go about it. Uh, challenged in the first quarter, probably the game on North Melbourne's terms, but then they just dial up the heat, the, the tackling heat, the pressure, uh, the, forcing the ball to be turned over and then scoring against. They Five goal to one second quarter, they were very, very good. Yeah, and we would try to stop their ball movement. Obviously, they like going pretty quick and through the midfield, and our, our goal before the game was to get them kicking down the line, but, yeah, they sort of got that game... That, part of their game going and um but yeah i think we'll uh scotty won't be too wrapped with that and have a bit of a word well that was my next question what will brad scott is very good at resetting the team in the long break what will he be saying right now yeah I'll, i think it'll just go back to what he was saying pre-game just get our structure right and try and nullify their strengths and um yeah and probably give the boys just a bit of motivation going into the second half all right well go and get yourself right please because uh, the game needs you playing one of the great uh, entertainment packages in footy weighty just what I love about him, Hodgie, is you just never know quite what you're going to see. Either some individual brilliance or some of the worst stuff you'll ever witness. Capable of it in the same minute. The worst stuff's gone back a bit, so I'm, 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 due, I'm not due for anything recently. You are a superstar, Wadey. We love you. Thanks very much for coming up.